I was lucky enough to pick up photography, you know, from the time I was in school because my father was a photographer. Uh, interestingly, he used to work for the American Embassy with the Information Services. But I was growing older and it came to a time when I had to decide on, uh, you know, what career I'd like to follow. I was very clear that I don't want to be a photographer professionally. And uh, the bug I had in my head is that, you know, in India there's a caste system where uh, if a father's, uh, you know, a uh, cobbler, then the son becomes a cobbler, the father has a shop, the son goes and sits in the shop. If there's a business, he runs the business. If you are a sweeper, the, you know, the child becomes a sweeper. Uh, which I think is, is extremely unfair. At that time, I felt that, you know, that, that it's kind of predetermined that what I have to be. So that's the thing about the car system. I uh, was very clear that I didn't want to follow in my father's footsteps, but I guess destiny and one's aesthetic. So, you know, I don't know if it's how it works, but uh, I find that uh, I became one myself. Uh, well, it it's works on two levels. One, of course, is the religious caste system, uh, which there are four different kinds. And so that puts you into a certain social stroke religious bracket. Then within that, of course, then it's dictated by the kind of profession or the business which uh, your family is doing. Uh, so that can be a subcaste. Uh, of course, photography doesn't go that far back that there would be a caste for that. So, uh, but it was very much the fact that you know you're supposed to take on the vocation of the of the family or the father, uh, which I thought was very restrictive. Uh, now that I look back many years and many decades, I do question my own thinking at that time and this entire thing of negating the caste system. I can understand and I do agree that as uh, something which is straight is straight jacketed, you know, forces people to be within a certain uh, box as far as social and cultural rules are concerned is wrong. But as far as profession is concerned, and especially if it has to do with you know particular training, uh, I do see the value of it, uh, especially to do with the arts. Say if you're a musician or a dancer or even a photographer. Uh, I do believe that, you know, the fact that people think that you need to go to school to learn A, B, C and, you know, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 and have negated the fact that you can be an apprentice of your father or your parent or the family and learn a particular art or an art form through your formative years and actually practice that, uh, I think probably is, is a better idea. Uh, and somehow if we've fallen into the industrial uh, trap of you know everyone having a formal education so that you can be good enough to be able to go and work in an office or work in a factory or you know things to do with what is so called modernization and in the process have also therefore lost a lot of what our traditional art forms uh, whether it's music whether it's in dance whether it's in you know other creative forms sculpture painting uh, and India particularly, I think, and I would only speak for India, I mean, I'm not an expert of this, but I think India has really lost out as far as that is concerned. I'm not saying revive the caste system, but revive the good part of being able to apprentice with people and bring respect back to the fact that that too can be education if you're learning a particular art form or a dance form or a music form, which your family or your, your particular society has followed for generations.